this is Sandy McManus with NeedsARibbon.com, bringing you another edition of Coffee Break. A toast to you. There, now you can see it. Um, where in 15 minutes or less, we will make a card or other project. And today, this is that project card. Card. It's a card. And it uses some celebration items. And that would be for Celebration Winter 2022 that, as of the time of this recording, has ended. But I'm sure many of you have those items or earned those items with your $50 order. So they're at your disposal. So like my other Coffee Break videos, the instructions will be at the end. And... Everything I've done is already pre blah blah blahs. Blah blah blahs is the technical term. And what I use for my greeting, celebrate every beautiful thing, uses the catching butterflies. Again, from Celebration. Could have gotten this for a $50 order for free. Celebrate every beautiful. I, I honestly, I'm hanging on to this set. I think it's adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp my greeting. And we use two punches on this project. It's a fairly simple project. But make sure that's square. We can do some adjustment when we punch out the greeting. We're going to redo that. I'm not sure I'm square. No, it's not square on the block. That's what happens when you mount stuff in a hurry. Roll over your ink thumb. Hopefully that's square. You guys can probably see easier than I can. Looks pretty good. Doesn't have to be super square, but we're gonna use this punch and this punch. The dragonfly punch and this elegant label punch. Gonna, hopefully that's dried enough. Memento ink takes a few seconds. And I want that toward the bottom. I'm actually gonna have to trim that a little bit. I didn't stamp it down far enough. I'll trim off just a little bit. No big. Because I want that down at the bottom. You see now that's where I can adjust. And we can set that aside. And so we have a piece, actually we have two pieces here of Bermuda Bay that are three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Since this is getting layered up with some patterned paper, why not take our dragonflies out of here? Conserve our paper and our paper scraps. Right? I'm telling you, it's brilliant. And it barely fits, but it works. There we go. We're gonna put that aside, our lovely dragonfly punch. And so now we have these. We can give them a little bend with our scissor or a bone folder or our hands, make them look a little bit like they're taking flight. Dragonflies are beautiful, aren't they? So what we need to do is we need to adhere. I want this rainbow. Part of why I chose the Bermuda Bay because it goes with the paper and knowing that I normally put glue in the middle. If you know me, I like glue, but I can't because I punched out and it'll ooze through and then I'll have a mess because, <laughs> yeah, that's, crafting can be messy. And this is also from that rainbow, happiness and rainbows um, paper that was free. It was a six by six stack. Um, and it has night and navy little starry things on the back. And I have a sheet, a white layer that uses the new honeycomb, um, embossing folder. And you know, what's really cool about this embossing folder. You can kind of see it as I ink it up. It's not perfect. It's like a real honeycomb. It, it's not, um, how do you say it? They're not even. There's some less perfect honeycombs because that's the way nature intended. They're not always going to be 
little perfect honeycombs. So don't think I did a bad job embossing that. That's truly was meant to be more natural looking. So I've got that down. Got some goop. <laughs> Go away. And we're gonna get this down. That should layer on perfectly. And because I'm elevating these with dimensionals and yeah, that one works. Um, I glued this right down. I did not, um, what do you want to say? Um, uh, raise it with the dimensionals. And this probably would be better with a mini one of the mini dimensionals, but use what you have handy. Okay. And look at that. I almost messed up. So we want to attach our little, um, our greeting also. So let's flip that over. Do as I say, not as I do. And make sure, and you could use any labely type punch for this. I just wanted to use that because I liked the bottom shape. Thought it was pretty. We'll glue that down. Adhere that down. You see how fast this card comes together? Again, whether you have this paper or even have the dragonfly punch, you could use daisies, you know, something about this card that you like. Don't have to make it exactly as Sandy did. You certainly could use different colors, different papers, a different folder to put yours together. And one last thing, I added a little rhinestone and I use the rhinestones on these because they pop off this somewhat busier background. Um, And I should be using my take a pick tool, but old school Sandy has been, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been a long time. And I can see that my rhinestones are a little old too. If you saw that the glue was kind of trying to stay, yeah, that one doesn't even have glue. So we'll just do them all the same size. That's fine. There's, yeah, like that. So there we have, I didn't give these, I didn't have these take flight um, but I like the take flight look. And you know, when you put them in an envelope, they'll flatten out a little bit, but they will retain a little bit of that and elevate a little bit. So there we have our coffee break for today using the Dragonfly Punch and the Happiness and Rainbows Designer Series paper and the Catching Butterfly stamp set that were from Celebration. And I hope you've enjoyed this edition. Thank you for joining me. And again, this is Sandy Man Mc McManus with NeedsAribbon.com and stay tuned for the instructions. You can pause the video to note them.